Okay, so welcome everybody. So we've kind of had a few questions about benzyl versus phenyl substituents, right? And when do we use benzyl and when do we use phenyl? Okay, so we're gonna go through benzyl versus phenyl through a few examples in terms of naming compounds as well as potentially why they might be different. Um, the key thing to note is both benzyl and phenyl groups are derived from the molecule benzene, which is sort of shown here in the center. Benzene is that classic, simplest aromatic structure, right? So this is a cyclic molecule, which is fully conjugated around the ring and contains four N plus two pi electrons, right? So in this case, we have six pi electrons satisfying that uh, four N plus two rule. Okay, so benzene is that core of both the phenyl and the benzyl group. So if we have a benzene ring as a substituent of some kind of larger molecule, then in that case there, we'd be talking about a phenyl substituent, right? So the name of a benzene ring directly attached to whatever the larger parent molecule is, we would call that a phenyl substituent. Now, a benzyl substituent looks very similar, okay? The difference is there's this extra CH2 group, right? Between the benzene ring and the rest of the molecule, which is represented here by R prime. Okay, so that parent, uh, molecule we represent by R prime. Phenyl, the benzene ring is directly attached to that parent molecule. Benzyl, there's the benzene ring and then that extra CH2 group right there. So how does this sort of manifest in different molecules? Okay, so we can, for instance, have phenol, okay, or phenyl alcohol. In that case, we have the OH group directly attached to the benzene ring. And we should contrast that with benzyl alcohol, where we have the benzene ring, the extra CH2 group, and only then do we actually reach the alcohol, the OH part. Uh, similarly, we can imagine bromobenzene, which we can also call phenyl bromide. In that case, the bromine's directly on the benzene ring. Contrast that with benzyl bromide, where we have the benzene ring, the extra CH2 group, and then the BR group, okay? And so for instance, the reactivity of phenol versus benzyl alcohol would be different because of where the OH is attached in the same way we can do certain reactions on say benzyl bromide that we just can't um, do on um, bromobenzene or phenyl bromide, okay? Now these are sort of, you know, smaller molecules with just one uh, functional group beyond the benzene ring. Um, how does this sort of appear in larger molecules that are closely related, okay? So a good example might be if we compare Phenyl propionate versus benzyl propionate. So these are both esters, where remember ester is an alcohol half fused to an acid half. In this case, we've kept the acid half the same, which is propionic acid. Okay, so that's where the propionate comes from. And all we've done is we've changed the alcohol half of the molecule. On the left there with phenyl propionate, we've taken phenol and fused it to propionic acid. So the benzene ring is directly attached to the oxygen, giving us phenyl propionate. We should contrast that with benzyl propionate, which is where the benzyl alcohol is fused to the propionic acid, okay? Uh, linked to the propionic acid. And in that case there, the benzene ring is not bonded to the oxygen, but rather that extra CH2 group is bonded to the oxygen. Okay, so we can also imagine that the reactivity of phenyl propionate might be quite different to benzyl propionate. For instance, we can imagine um, that the hydrolysis rate of phenyl propionate might be a bit higher um, than benzyl propionate. And then lastly, if we sort of think about aromatic rings as substituents on larger molecules, so an example of this is we have this benzene ring, so the phenyl group, um, in the two position of propionic acid. So in that case, the IUPAC name for that molecule would be 2-phenyl propionic acid, right? So we label substituent benzene ring as phenyl, okay? And we indicate that it's in the two position by calling it 2-phenyl propionic acid. Notice in this case, the benzene ring is directly in um, to the um, carbon chain, the three carbon propionic acid chain. All right, I hope that was helpful and thanks a lot.